1893 Fram expedition was the first attempt to reach the North Pole by freezing a ship in ice and drifting with the ice through the Arctic. This idea came from a Norwegian explorer named Fridjof Nansen after he'd learned that an American ship called the Jeanette had been crushed and sunk by sea ice. Wreckage from the Jeanette was found years later, more than 3,000 miles to the west on the southern coast of Greenland. To Nansen, this suggested there was an east-west current across the Arctic. If he could build a boat that would withstand the pressures of sea ice, and if he could find this east-west current, maybe he could be the first to reach the North Pole. So that was the plan, but Nansen had many doubters. At the time, very serious scientists believed the North Pole was on land or that a hot current flowed north from Japan towards some sort of Garden of Eden in the North Pole. Many thought that it would be impossible to build this sort of indestructible ship and that the best way, the only way to reach the North Pole, was to find this hot current. Despite all this uncertainty, still hundreds of people applied to join the Fram expedition. Only 12 men are accepted, and after years of preparation, they set sail in July of 1893, heading east along the coast of Russia and soon finding themselves trapped in sea ice. Things are going exactly as planned until, well, until immediately after freezing themselves in sea ice. The current carries the ship back and forth for months. The Fram goes nowhere and Nansen experiences some intense depression, feeling like he's failed as an explorer and as a scientist. Eventually, the Fram finds a more consistent drift and travels fairly quickly across the Arctic. The expedition only takes three years. The whole time the crew is gathering scientific data, air and water temperatures, air pressure, gravitational measurements. They arrive back in Norway having gathered more information about the Arctic than anyone before them. But Nansen's goal was to reach the North Pole. And so it turns out that about 18 months into the expedition, Nansen discovers the Fram was traveling south, away from the pole. So he and another guy, Hilmar Johansson, decide to set off for the pole on foot. They bring skis, sleds, and kayaks, among other things, and end up being out in the Arctic for another year and a half. The two decide to turn around once they discover that the ice they are walking on is drifting south faster than they are walking north. But at that point, the Fram is long gone. They wind up spending eight months living in a cave they dug from rocks and snow, eating nothing but polar bear and walrus. But these guys were incredibly lucky. They're stranded in one of the most remote places in the world, and they happen to encounter a British expedition. Ironically, the leader of the British expedition that rescues them had been rejected from joining the Fram expedition years earlier. So that was ultimately a decision that saved Nansen's life. In the end, the ship and all the crew members end up making it safely back to Norway. So I guess you could say everything went exactly as planned. <laughs>